Please think the worst. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We got a guest. A uh, live guest coming on. Hi yeah. there. Hi. Is this James? This, this Mike. Yes. Is this Mike? This is Mike. Is this the real James awesome. or is this a fake James? This is the real. This is the real Slim Shady. Yeah. yeah. Slim Shady. Our favorite man. Woo! Yeah. Right now. Yes, Brian. You surprised me with this. Sorry about that. Man, this is awesome. How are yeah. you doing? How are you doing tonight? This I'm doing great. How's everything in New Jersey? Everything's great in New Jer Jersey. Listen, we've been talking about me. I don't want to talk about me anymore. I want to talk about you. I couldn't think of a better way to end the year. I mean, you've had a, you've had a really good year. You had a great ending event at Mille Lacs. I know because I watched you catch them every day. Uh, and, <laughs> and then, yeah. and then you know, now ending the season with a win on what's essentially your home lake. It's it's got to be pretty special. It was, um, you know, Green Lake's changed a lot, and you know, I, I fished six or seven different years in a row where I fished two or three different classics in September and October, and I really know that lake, you know, that time of year. I know how tough it is. I know what to do. I know where it usually goes down at. Um, but it, it's changed a lot, and it's gotten tougher. And it was really nice to get one more good tournament out of it, and just kind of like the glory days, you know. It's like probably when you won on the Delaware River, you used to fish it a lot, and you go back. Yeah. You know, you're going back home and winning. So it's uh, it was a really cool deal. Uh, I'm sure you can relate there. It's uh, it, and you know, I, I thought about you the whole time I was out there. I was like, man, I got to catch five. If I don't catch five, you know, Ike's not getting in. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it was it was it was a crazy tournament, and I I just didn't see it coming. I guess I I didn't feel like I was on the fish quite strong enough. But I underestimated how how tough it actually was and you can see that from the weights yesterday and we had a little weather change you know and i, I knew you know I, I caught my fifth keeper within 30 minutes to go my, my last two actually um, i had three fish and i only caught five all day wow i ended up keeping a fish that was it barely touched 14 on my board and and at the time when i caught it it was really um really clamped up you know and, and it had its tail pinched on its own and I go, man, you know, if it relaxes and, and that tail's not like that, that you know, of course, in bass, they don't um, pinch the tail. They, they fan it. Uh, and I didn't know if it would go. And I just, I go, man, you know, I, I got to take this chance. I, I, I'm just going to see if it passes. I, I didn't look at it again, and I waited in, and it, and it worked out. So Wow. That, that, yeah, and that's... I won by 10 ounces. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> that's amazing. But, you know, wow. they're, they're the kind of, Pete, we've talked about this before, but they're the kind of chances – you have to take right a lot of guys would have threw that fish back that's right right mm -hmm. off the giddy but they're the kind of chance you have to take chances to win right we've talked you about do. that all the time it, and that's the only reason why i fish the opens um and it's for that reason right there it's not because of the payout or anything like that it, it's for that one sole purpose to try to make a classic birth and, and i knew that you know it might be that time of year i i, I didn't have the classic made through the elite series and i need, I need that tournament to try to win right um so I fished the other ones, and, and that's why I was there. And, and, of course, the pressure wasn't on me, you know, so that makes it easier. Yeah. And, uh, and I, it, it was easy for me to practice because it was close to home. So it just worked out, I guess, you know. I got to know, Mike. What were you doing yesterday? Yeah. What was going on? Well, uh, we, talk, we talked about it a little bit just before you came on, but we tried – Becky and I tried to keep really busy most of the day mm -hmm. to not think about it, not keep looking – um, but you know, at the very end there, right before weigh in, I kind of logged on, I looked and I saw that when Bowman left you, you had three and I, you know, I'm looking at the rest of the field and there was only two guys that could help me. And I was, I, mm -hmm. it, it was, it was tense, man. It was tense. I was, I was, uh. I was panicking. <laughs> you were a mess. I was a mess. You were a mess. I was a mess. I was hoping you caught two more in the last hour and you did. That's freaking awesome, yep. man. That's it, awesome. It was. It was, it, you know, after I won, I, I wanted to know what, what's Ike doing right now. Is, is he <laughs> running around the house? Is he is he banging his head against the wall? <laughs> what's he doing? Yeah, we a little, going a little on. bit of all. Of that. Yeah, a little bit of all that. There was some yelling. There was all some head. It. Yeah, there was some yelling, some head banging. There was some alcohol consumption. A lot of that stuff. <laughs> Actually, I think just one person. Did you we wake have up to apologize headache? to? Like we have to apologize to Bowman. Yeah. Because the man called. Yeah. To give us pretty good news. Yeah, he did. 
Yeah. And all we did was scream. And it was, <laughs> right. We, the two of us just screamed. Yeah. There was no word. We screamed there was at no him. talking. We just screamed. Yeah, Bowman actually called me before you weighed in. So Casey was winning. You were next to weigh. And Bowman called me and basically said, looks like you're probably going to get in. Um, you know, so at that point, we kind of, as soon as he said that, I didn't hear anything else he said the rest of the conversation because I was freaking out. So it was, it was, it was awesome. It, it's as close as you can get to feeling like you've won an event or caught like a 10 pounder as you can get without no, actually no. fishing. That's what it imagine. felt like. That's what you it should have went live when I, that was going Well, on. we did later, we did but, live, but, but I should have. We already finished off the bottle of champagne by then. We so did. Little, <laughs> we did, yeah. <laughs> yeah we were, James, I have to know, you know, you just had this amazing win. How do you feel yeah. having to share all of the spotlight, the spotlight boo, with Mike? <laughs> boo, <laughs> boo. Sorry for it's, that. It's, it's, yeah, it, that's okay. The narrative <laughs> the past day has been more about Ike making the classic because of me winning and instead of me winning. That's just not right. You know. That's just wrong. <laughs> it, it, yeah. It, that that has been kind of the but, – but that – I mean, I understand. I mean, it's great. I, you I can won say either that way. You, and, you, you know, can say I, that annoys I, I, I still get the credit for that. So yeah. it, it's been great. Um, but, but yeah, and, and it's a cool story, though, That's and people like that, and they want to hear about that, and, and that's what's so neat about the sport is – so it's understandable. It's It's an awesome deal. We, uh, I got to ask you when, just before you were about to weigh in, uh, you know, did you consider calling Mike and negotiating? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I should have. Uh, I knew, I knew, I, I didn't know that well. I, I knew it was going to be very, very, very close, so I didn't feel that confident in doing something like that. I didn't have Mike's number, so uh, <laughs> you know, I, I probably would have done something. You know, like, uh, yeah, most people don't get to talk. Said something. Most people don't get to talk to their guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> How about this guy? See, uh, I, mean, what is, I mean, come on. Who are you doing that for? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did you, you know, get in the classic because of yesterday, you know, me winning the open, but if you wouldn't have done your work at that event at Mille Lacs, It was so important. It, you, you wouldn't have been yeah. in a position to so important. Do, so, you know, benefit from that. Yeah, yeah. so important. So. The, the four or five spots that I gained in the Mille Lacs tournament, although at the time seemed insignificant, really, really helped. I want to put you on the spot real quick, James. Please yeah. tell the story, because Becky's sitting here on the couch. I'd like to hear it from – I'd rather you tell it than me tell it. <laughs> tell the story of, of uh, Bobby Lane tried getting yeah. in there uh, on the last day. Yeah, so first, um, apparently I had told him, you know, you can have my brand-new Tundra – uh, fully loaded, <laughs> limited edition, <laughs> blah, 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 lifted, and, and that didn't work. He threw that at him. He talked to him about that Saturday, and, you know, first thing that morning, he goes, I told you, Bobby, limited edition, Tundra, you can have it, man. You can have it all. Just just leave us alone. And, and, he, and it didn't work. So he threw Becky on the table and, and, and offered, offered to trade, you know. I'll, I'll even throw Becky in there, and you can have her, Bobby. And, and that's when Bobby left. <laughs> Indecent proposal. Yeah. I'm back. I'm sorry. So, I didn't tell you this. So did Bobby leave because he thinks that I'm like moving in? Or, yeah. hey, hey. or did you scare the living daylight it's, yeah, out of it, it could be both ways. It could be a positive or a negative. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're owed to me, woman. Get over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Beck. I didn't tell you that part. But I actually, I actually bribed you and the kids. And so the kids might have scared him off. I don't know if it was yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, that 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 may have been the final. Yeah, that's a that clever was, way to bring that, that in. Yeah, but he he did leave, which was awesome. Well, again, James, thank you. An awesome win, and uh, and make sure you text your favorite restaurant. Yes, please like, like, text like those, it like, to me. Those forty dollar dinner plates, you know. Yes, uh huh. High dollar, yep. high okay. dollar place. Hey. Hey, Jim, you'll be lucky if you get an O'Meals and a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> O'Meals yeah, and a Tackle Warehouse gift bag. O'Meals and a Nike Live uh, hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take what I can get. I can probably sell a hat. We'll have Eric the intern sign the Ike Live hat. It'll be worth something. Uh, good, good. Well, yeah, thanks, right, for, well, guys, uh, thanks for having rough me. Rough crowd. You got it. Thanks for coming on. James Elon, everybody. On a great win. Wow, awesome win. Thank you. All right, see ya.
Brian the Carpenter. What happened? You surprised me on that one, you. <laughs> My bad. You guy. Guy, yeah. you. <laughs> you guy.